Hello everyone, welcome to our today's session. Today, I would want us to know how index and the march are normally used to look up for information in an Excel worksheet, in an Excel worksheet. And here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, given this kind of information, given this kind of information, I have my teams here, country, whether they played in the Champions League, games played and points earned. So if, for example, I want to identify a team, like one team, assuming that I had uh, so many teams, like say 10,000 teams all over the world, and I want to single out, for example, ladies and gentlemen, one team, perhaps in this particular case, I may want to single out a team like Manchester United, Manchester United. So I can very easily use the index. So what I'll do, I'll come and have my cell there, say equals, because I want a function, so once I have my equals there, I'll come and say index. When you press IN, you're able to see index and it's able, the computer is able to define for you what index does. It returns a value or a reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and a column in a given range. So you must be knowing the row number and the column number. So once I've seen this index blue tick like that, what I need to do is to come and say tab. Once I say tab, they want me to give them the array, the arrangement, the table. So I'll come and uh, just highlight everything here from Borussia. So I'm highlighting everything in this table. Of course, I don't have to do that, but I just want to go the long way. So after doing that kind of a highlight, I've arrayed, it has told me I've picked everything from cell B4, this cell here, from cell B4, from cell B4, all the way to cell F12, cell F12 like that. So what I need to do is to come, I'm following this, array, comma, row, so comma, you press comma. And then now the row number. Ladies and gentlemen, the Manchester United that I would want uh, to pick here is in row number one of this column, or not row number one, it is row number one, two, three. Manchester United is, is on the third row of this column. So you simply say three comma, you can see it wants column number. So column number, you can see the column here is column number one. Column number one, you say one like that. And then you will come and close your bracket. So shift, close this bracket like that. And then you say equals. What are you able to see coming here? It's Manchester United, Manchester United. Ladies and gentlemen, I could also use something great here. Come to this cell, say equals. So this time round, I want to match. So I say match, M-A. Once I say just M-A, M alone, I'm able to see my match here below tick. And it has told us that match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value in a specified order, in a specified order. So it gives us a relative position. It will tell us, for example, Manchester United is in which row? So once it is blue tick like this and I would want to make use of it, press tab. Once I press tab, it wants me to give them the lookup value. So this lookup value, what am I looking to match? I'm looking for my team here called Manchester United. So I'll come and click on it like that. It's telling me D23. So from there, what I need to do is to come and say comma. So once I say comma, lookup value, I can see lookup array. Ladies and gentlemen, match, you can only match in one column or one row. So under March, Manchester United is on uh, column number one. So I can only match, I can only highlight the entire of this row like that. So from there, what do I do? I'll come and say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a comma. After that, they are telling me to give them the match type. So match type, remember, we want an exact match. We don't want guesswork. We don't want less than. We don't want greater than. We want an exact match. So exact match will simply come and uh, click there. So we have a uh, zero match being blue, tip, so, uh, blue, blue ticked there. So simply press a uh, tab. After that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll come and close uh, because I, I'm, I'm not through. I'm, I'll come and close my bracket. So close the bracket like that. So once I do that, I'll come and say equals. So you're able to see the match function giving us, ladies and gentlemen, the row position, the row position of Manchester United. So Manchester United is in row number one, two, and three, row number three, like that. So that is the simplicity of index and what here, match. But now, ladies and gentlemen, 
what if you are given, what if you are given this kind of uh, information? So they want you this time round because there are many parameters here that they want you to find out. They want you to combine index and match, index and match, very easy. So what I'll do, I'll come first of all here in the Milan. So let me start with the match. Let me start with the match. So come and press equals M. Once I patch my M like that, I'm able to see match being blue ticked here. So once it's blue ticked like that tab, once you tab, they want us to give them the lookup value. What are we looking up this time around, ladies and gentlemen, we want this Milan team. So once I say the Milan team, because I can see that we have got many factors, eh? many factors, ladies and gentlemen, to be looked at here, it will be important for me to bring my cursor back here in front of this I column. So I would want to fix my I. So how do I fix? It is shift dollar, shift dollar. I want the dollar to fix the lookup value column. The lookup value column has to be fixed using what we call the referencing, the row referencing here, row or column referencing like that, or cell referencing. Ladies and gentlemen, after that, I'll bring my cursor again here. So after lookup value, they want you to put a comma, this comma. So come and press comma there. The next thing they want me to give them, ladies and gentlemen, is the lookup array. And if you remember lookup array, much you can only have, ladies and gentlemen, much one column. So where is Milan here? Milan is in column number one. I can see it here. So I'll come from Borussia here. I drag this down like that. I've been able to, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, highlight my array there. So this table, because of uh, the movement, the table here, we have to do what here? Th this array, we have to fix everything. To fix everything, you simply leave uh, that cursor where it is, and then you press F4. Once you press F4, you'll be able to fix everything there with dollars, with dollars so that your table doesn't keep on shifting. So from there, what do we do? We say comma. After that, ladies and gentlemen, it wants us to, of course, tell it that we want an exact match. So press shift, not shift, but uh, you simply click on it. You click on it. I'm using, uh, I'm using uh, my mouse here, although in Excel, as we progress, a, an advanced Excel user should not be using a mouse. So after I see this thing being blue tick like that, I'll come and uh, tab. I tab like that. And of course, then you close the, uh, the bracket. You close like that. So if I close like that, I'll come and say enter. I'm able to see these guys telling me that Milan is in row number two. Milan is in row number two of my table. Don't go as per the Excel uh, rules. As per my table here, Milan is in row number one, two, row number two like that. So I'll come and copy. So I copy this formula onto my second, uh, second team here. And of course I paste it here. So I paste it like that. When I paste it like that, I'm able to see a hamburger, which happens to be in column number what here? Column number four. Hamburger is column number four, one, two, three, four. So after that, now I'll come, ladies and gentlemen, and copy now the entire thing. We copy the entire thing all over like this. So then what I'll do is to come and say what here? Enter to paste. So I'm able to see if it's Champions League, Champions League Milan is number still, Milan is number two, all over, all over. But now, ladies and gentlemen, honestly getting the raw number does not speak volumes to us as Excel users. I would want to know if it is uh, games played, I would want to know the exact number of games that were played by Milan. I would want to know the points that Milan earned. So then the very best thing that I need to do is to come and qualify everything using the index. So how do I use the index? I will come back here. I'll come back here on this formula bar, click there so that I have my cursor dancing just after equal sign. So after that, I'll come and press I. Once I press I, I'm not seeing what I want there. I'll continue I N. So now I can see my index being blue ticked. So once this index is blue ticked like that, what do I do? Tab. Once I tab there, I can see they want me to give them an array, array. So array, I want to look for Milan under the country, under the country. So I want to look for Milan under the country, the country where Milan is found in. So country, I'll come under country. I take the entire array. I highlight like that. 
And once I do the German like that, I can see now I'm okay. I will not continue. You see like now, yeah, they want me after array. I give them a row. No, no, no. This row number was given by the merge, was given by the merge. So what I need to do is to come and I simply put a comma there. Once I put a comma there, I'm okay. But now remember, I need to come and close the bracket here, the major bracket. Why? Because you can see it is much brackets which are in red. There is this bracket here, which is in black. So you need to come and have its a counter part here. So come and say shift, and then you say like that. So once you have closed uh, like that, nice ladies and gentlemen, you simply say equals. When you say equals, you'll be able to see Italy being displayed there. So what you need to do is to come and copy that. So you simply copy that, and they copy now these to everything that you have, all these other cells that you have. Once you do like that, you simply say enter. Once you say enter, you are able to see some meaningful information. Like it will tell you that Milan is in Italy. Milan here is in Italy, you can see here. Milan, did it play Champions League? Yes, Milan played Champions League. This is a gentleman in Milan. How many games did it play? 38. Yes, check Milan, 38. How many points did it earn? Milan, 57 points, 57 points. And the same will apply for who? For hamburger. The same will apply for hamburger. This is a gentleman. That is the end of this particular important session. And I would really urge you to join RCM College. Join RCM College for advanced Excel classes where we shall be able to show you exactly what you need to do to become an advanced Excel user of this particular program. Remember, as I always keep on telling you, you can never say that you are really, you can never say that you are really an advanced Excel user, an advanced Excel user, or rather you can't say that you're an accountant if you do not know how to make use of Excel. Otherwise, thank you very much. Be blessed.